the tape for this lightweight fight. Ferguson is 10 years his senior. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <coughs> Championship of the world. It's a jiu coach. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England. Presenting the challenger, the body snatcher. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, for the Tony Touch of the gloves, we are underway. Great. All right, folks, fasten your seat belts. This could end up being a very technical, very entertaining fight. I'm surprised they didn't bring out the keys for this one, Shane. I mean, you would have thought as a jujitsu watcher that you would see these two competitors at a jiu-jitsu competition. But ultimately, they are meeting in the octagon, and you are about to see jiu-jitsu. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flu. He's got the side mount. And now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. Oh, nice job using his Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancements. And if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Ferguson. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. 
step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you would. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punt lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's cool, the opponent went. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain, just go for the finish. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Ferguson's now looking for a Darsh choke. Getting tighter. Not tapping out tonight. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. And this might just be a matter of time. shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 16 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And the new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the body snatcher. Oh, take my money, DC. We got a new UFC lightweight champion. This is a belt that doesn't always change hands very often. There's a new king at 155 pounds. The most exciting moment in sport 
when Dana White wraps the belt around a new champion's yes. waist. Take a moment, son. Breathe it in. You are now 